This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. So this conversation is still being had in America over the course of the last week when the 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 evils of the Taliban were kind of brought front and center in our departure from Afghanistan. Uh, I have been mentioning and making comparisons and analogies between the right wing in this country, Republican, the religious zealotry of Republicans who want to rule America under some biblical uh, standard, despite the fact that there is a separation of church and state enshrined in our constitution. And I played a video last week from two pastors, one of whom called democracy a disease, and the other who maligned diversity and called Black Lives Matter uh, an organization with a Jezebel spirit, whatever, whatever that means. And uh, I got two calls talking about the hateful pastors and also peppering in some commentary about the, the American Taliban, Texas Taliban comparison. We'll get to those and then we'll talk about it. Good afternoon, uh, Jesse Dollamore. Um, Good afternoon. Two radical Christian pastors rail against democracy. Wow. I've been uh, subjected to this behavior all of my life. But to stand behind a podium and use God's platform to spew such hatred and say Black Lives Matter is a Jezebel spirit. Well, what kind of spirit does he think that he has spewing hatred from a pulpit? Yeah. Man. No words. It's no words for hatred of that degree. Have a great day, man. Thank you for the call. I appreciate it. Listen, um, it, it, I'm not a religious person anymore. I was raised, like I've talked about, a fundamentalist, evangelical, Christian nationalist flavor of Christianity. And um, I still I still have some knowledge about the Bible, though. You don't ever forget that stuff when it's drilled into your head. And if I was to be a fervent and faithful Christian again, it would be using the red letters of the Bible. Uh, there are editions of the Bible that are called the red letter editions where the words of Jesus are printed in red. And a lot of Christian pastors, these fundamentalists, they adhere to, to the most barbaric passages in the Bible to to guide them. That's their lodestar, is the barbarity of the Bible, the parts of the Bible that justified slavery and set rules for when and how hard to beat your slaves. They adhere to the parts of the Bible that if a woman, if a woman gets raped, she is forced to marry her rapist and the rapist has to pay her father money. Those are the parts they're fond of. They're not fond of the parts of love your neighbor as yourself. Or when Jesus said that if any person were to harm a child, it's better to be thrown to the bottom of the sea with a millstone around your neck than to harm a child. They totally forget all of that. That is why I make what I think is an apt comparison to Taliban and terrorists and religious fundamentalists who rule their countries with Republicans. Because if you swap out the faiths and you just talk about what their objectives are and what their motivations are and what they're accomplishing, they are the same thing. Anyway, thank you for the call. I appreciate it. Next up, same topic. Hey, Jesse, good evening. Another great show, as always. Thank you. This is Tom from Indiana. Listen, I was uh, watching uh, Pastor Shane. Man, and I use that term loosely as a pastor. Uh, he's got a lot of answering before to do before he can get into heaven, I'm sure. When he gets to the gate, he's going to have a lot of explaining to do. 
But that's, uh, I digress. My point is, I don't see a dime's worth of difference between what he's saying and Sharia law, the law right. that Taliban is trying to implement. They want God's law. They want, I mean, he's not saying anything different than uh, any Taliban uh, leader would say. They want to bring back, take away these things that we already have, implement, in my mind, Sharia law. Uh, if they had their way, uh, it would probably be similar to what they're doing in the Taliban and other places that uh, have these repressive uh, religions. That's just a thought of mine. I just, when listening to him, the first thing I thought about was, you know, sounds like a Taliban person. If he was speaking in the dialect, and had the garb on, I would couldn't tell you the difference between exactly. him and, and a Taliban leader. Thanks. Have a great day, Jesse. Another great show. So here's um, – I'm just going to read. I'm going to pull up uh, – we'll say this episode's brought to you by my Substack. I just started a newsletter where weekly I'm going to write on whatever topic is in my head that week. And uh, I wrote this specific thing about the comparison as a pushback against people who think I'm wrong to compare – uh, the American Republican Party, and the Taliban. I said, the Taliban is a ruling political entity that has its philosophies informed by an extremist fundamentalist religious outlook. They are a political organization with the stated objectives of curtailing the civil and human rights of women, members of the LGBTQ, and religious minorities. They operate outside the scope of democracy and the rule of law, and they create chaos in the areas that they govern. And then relative to the Republican Party, we'll just plug in Republican Party. The Republican Party in many states in the United States is a ruling political entity that has its philosophies informed by an extremist fundamentalist religious outlook. The Republican Party is a political organization with the stated objectives of curtailing the civil and human rights of women, members of the LGBTQ, and religious minorities. The Republican Party operates outside of the scope of democracy and the rule of law, and they create chaos in the areas that they govern. It's a one-to-one. -one. It is a one-to-one -one comparison. You swap out well, how they dress, like the caller said. You swap out the name of the faith. Not a lot of difference. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think. And also, by the way, since uh, I just brought up the Substack, you can go to dollamore.substack.com. I think dollamore.substack.com. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and you can subscribe to the newsletter. Uh, it's going to be weekly. Short, sometimes long. We'll see how it goes. It's just kind of a, a, a different medium by which to express myself, through which to express myself. And I would appreciate you joining me. That would be great. You can also join me here. Call 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I'd love to have you connect with me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, uh, all of, all of the, the social media. And of course, you can support my work by going to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast or right here on YouTube. You can click the join button below the video, whichever side it's on. I don't know. Uh, and see how it's what's involved. And uh, for as little as two dollars a month, you can become a channel member helping support, helping produce my work. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you guys for engaging with my content as often as you do. I love you and I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.